G'day to you. Obviously, you're watching this video. It's about to be recorded live on Facebook. And if you're watching the replay right now, can you kindly type in the number two? That way, it will just help us to know, um, you know, what sort of audience we're having and what sort of content we're going to be putting on. So I want you to buckle in. Today, we're going to be talking about the six lessons that you need to uh, learn from taking stock of your own actions and taking stock of uh, who you are as a person. Now we're gonna segue to the live segment of the day, and I'm hoping um wa you watch this till the end. Now I see Timothy Gentle has just tuned in. What's happening, my brother? Hope you had a fantastic break right there, and uh, compliments of the season, my man. Danielle Johnson, thank you so much for tuning in. Everybody else is tuning in. Thank you all so much. Um, yeah, it's one of those things that every single day at 2 p.m. AEST, we sit around here and we're talking about how we can help you start scale and grow a business that is actually profitable and enjoyable. Now today, obviously, um, without even wasting nobody's time, because a lot of people are going to catch this in post-production, we're talking about the six lessons that you need to actually learn by taking stock of who you are as a person and by taking stock of what actually makes you tick? I see Mike James has just tuned in. Brother, how are you doing? Timothy Gentle says, Happy New Year, bro. Hope all is well. Keep up the fantastic work. I really do appreciate you and you and me need to have um, mwah, 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 drinky drinkies. <laughs> and Leslie uh, no, and, um, Noel, thank you so much for tuning in. Mike says, tuning in, ready to learn. Absolutely. Now, I want you to notice something, Mike. Today's show is going to be about you. All right. This show is going to be about learning who you are, taking stock of who you are as a person. There's a lot of stuff that you can learn from books, from podcasts from other people's experiences but are you taking time to actually learn who you are as a person right so that's what this show is all about today so i really want you to tune in and if you're just landing on here right now i want you to type in where you're tuning in from just want to see how far and wide the net is being cast i see steven Seddon is tuning in thank you so much brother for the support in 2017 now we're in 2018 let's do this all right so i really want you to understand that i believe if you're running an online business and i know you uh, or you know me i want that your business is profitable and you actually enjoy working in that business i really want you to earn more money with less struggle. So that's the reason why every single day at 2 p.m. AEST, we're sitting around here smiling so that I can actually help you curate and also, um, you know, help you relate to your audience. So today I'm talking about six lessons that you can actually learn from taking stock of who you are as a person, right? I'm gonna read um, what I was writing here while I was um, waiting for everybody else to tune in, but um, if you're gonna be catching this in post-production, please hang in there, because I feel like today's show is gonna be really, really powerful, because it's dedicated to you, all right? And it is all for you, all right? So, basically, one of the things that I wrote is, Things will always appear worse than they really are. I'm going to be talking and expanding on that a little bit. And then number two is people in your life are more precious. Hold on to them. All right. And number three uh, tip that I'm going to be talking about, take action. No matter what you're doing, no matter what it is, make sure you are actually shipping um, something out every single day because your customers are also being bombarded with somebody else's stuff and it's not yours. All right. So I'll be talking about that and how procrastination and the need for perfection is actually doing you more harm than good because everybody seems to be doing a lot of work but not earning any money at all so i'm going to be addressing that aspect and i also am going to be talking about presence and essence how to actually command presence and how to actually belong to your audience to your niche to your industry just like if you were watching yesterday oprah brought the house down my god i was watching that um interview and my heart was just going whoa whoa how does she do that how does she own the room like she did how does she have so much presence i'm going to be talking about that in this video so tune in and i'm also going to be talking about um you know that 
meaning is actually found by making a difference, um, you know, in someone else's life instead of making, a, um, you know, wanting to make yourself happy. You find happiness by making other people happy because in other people's wallets, that's where your money resides. All right. And then I'm also going to be talking about you are an average of the five people you actually spend your time with. So choose your friends wisely. They're the only thing that you can choose instead of family. So these are the things that I'm going to be talking about um, on this show. So So it's your chance to actually take a pen right now, grab a drink so that we go through all of these things and um, make sure that you're getting the most value out of this show. You know what? You know what? It's about you. It's about who you are. Some people talk about tricks and, and, and tricks on how to win on LinkedIn, how to win everywhere else. I want to talk about how to win your own life. I want to talk about how to actually become the best version of yourself. And once you become the best version of yourself, everything else falls into place. You know why? Because you're the star player. You're the person that's going to be going to the meetings. You're the person that's writing those emails. You're the person that's talking to the people that are going to be giving you that money whatsoever. So if you're not in the right frame of mind, no tactic, no course, no shiny object that you would have picked up along the way is ever going to change your situation until you start taking stock of who you are as a person. Mom, how's it going? I hope Dad is ch- is tuning in. I'm really, really excited that you guys are watching, and 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 you're also present on this show right now. Sava Emon, thank you so much for tuning in. Loretta, and I saw Taf just tuned in as well. So these insights that I'm going to be giving you should be about you and how you carry yourself every single day in order to win in this game of business. Half of the time we go out there trying to figure out what's the best tactic, what's the best way of getting clients, how can I get attention? I put a post out yesterday and I was like, you don't get attention, you earn it, all right? You don't get to get people to, 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 to give you attention or to watch your stuff or to share your, your products. You earn that, you know why? Because people are busy. People are busy living their lives. What are you doing? What value are you giving into their lives? How are you making their lives better and changing their way of life in order for them to give you attention? What are you doing in order for them to actually understand you, to actually know who you are, what it is that you provide and how you can be of help to them? What's in it for them to actually listen to your stuff, read your blogs or read your books? You really need to figure out who am I in this whole ecosystem? You know what I mean? Because you're not the first person that your your, your prospect has, has met. You're not the first person that your prospect is, is, is hearing or watching or learning from. What are they getting from you in order to want to watch you again tomorrow? Because people are busy. There's two billion people that could be, um, you know, that... that they could be listening to or watching or, 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 or interacting with. Why you? What's so special about you that you feel like you are, um, you know, um, what's, the, what's the word for it? You feel like you are, it, the universe owes you people's attention. It's not like that. So if you actually start understanding who are you when you go into a room that is cold or if you go into a room that is hot or if you go into a room that is stinky or if you go into a room that that is not comfortable while the person that's on the other side of the table is about to sign a $20,000 check for you. Are you still going to sit in there sweating? Are you still going to be sitting in there, um, you know, enduring that bad smell? So you need to understand who are you? Personally, can you withstand this whole journey? Because all the tricks, all the books, all the courses that you might take on, they're not going to be there or present with you while you're sitting in front of another person as they read your body language, as they see how frustrated you are as a person. So you need to understand who am I and how do I react in certain areas? How do I react when somebody speaks vernacular or somebody swears in front of me? Am I going to flinch? Who am I? And once you know that part, once you know what makes you smile, what makes you happy, you can always trigger that aspect within yourself every single time you're out. And guess what happens? Not all days are going to be fine. Not all days are going to be rosy. But if you know what what to trigger within your headspace in order to get that smile, that happiness, you will win a lot of business. 
So it's not about the trick that you're going to learn down the track. It's not about the course or whatever it is. It's about the lessons that are in with inside of you. So if you listen carefully, there's so much that you can learn from your own everyday life. Start taking stock of who you are as a person. Start taking stock of what makes you tick. Because whatever makes you tick is going to influence what you write, how you speak to people, and how other people comprehend what you're saying. And guess what happens? The happier you are, the more you actually understand who you are and how you, you interact with other human beings. It makes it easier for you to sell. You know? Because people buy stories. People don't buy pens or, I mean, pens or water bottles or, you know, books or pens or whatever. People buy the story behind it. What story are you telling with your moods? What story are you telling with the content you're putting out there? What story are you telling every single day when people see what you're doing? So you need to start taking stock of who you are and listen carefully to what you're saying because the first conversation starts in your head before your prospects even hear about it. So that's why I'm saying these lessons that I'm about to impart on you are very invaluable because as opposed to acquiring, you know, a professional skill or, or a course down the road or joining a group or a networking group that has only one single use. How many times do you repeat your marketing degree? How many times do you repeat your nursing degree? But how many times are you exposed to feel empathy for the other person? How many times are you exposed to help another person by smiling and, and, and offering your own smile because they cannot smile? So you need to understand the lessons that are within you before you can utilize the professional lessons that you learned. And that way, my friend, you will win 2018. You will start living a happier existence because we're here to live, we're here to learn, we're here to contribute. By the time you're living, by the time you're learning, because you learn from other people's mistakes. You can't afford to make all the mistakes in the world. All right? So at the end of the day, you also need to contribute. And that's where you find fulfillment within yourself. So through tough times, whatever personal challenges you might be going, or a transition period, this is the start of the year, you know. So some people might be starting a new job, starting a new uh, business thing, or whatever it is. There's a lot of uncertainty. But if you know who you are as a star player, if you know who you are, because you are the constant person within whatever is happening in your environment. So it will help you live better, perform more effectively in each and every moment. You would now know what sort of pe people can you bear? What sort of people can you understand? And what sort of people can you listen to? And what sort of people make you happy? Then you would go out there and properly search for those people because those are the clients you're going to be working with. And if you understand how you react when you're working around them, it makes it a whole lot easier. You know, so over the past sort of decade, I've been away from home. I've been away from everybody else that has loved me ever since I was a kid. You know, and I've come across a lot of deep insights in my life. I've been homeless. I've been, I've been subjected to racism. Anything you can actually think of, you know, but I don't want to lie to you. I attribute a lot of the success that I now have, even if it's not what you think it might be, to a lot of of self-awareness it's either the happiness the success the ability to navigate through challenges i'm living in a country that i don't i never knew existed up until i met some lady who told me that australia was there so there's a lot to learn from from the wisdom that's within because sometimes you just know that you know something and you just go with it because your gut tells you right and that will make the difference in, the, in, in, in your life and, and it will continuously serve you. You know why? Because you are holding all the wisdom that you have within your, 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 um, you know, your, 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 your own psyche and your own existence. I think it was um, Socrates. I don't know. Are you guys understanding what I'm talking about or am I just going on on a whim? Because I'm really passionate about about this aspect because a lot of people think you need a, a trick or a shiny object or a course for you to, in order to get traffic. No, you've got to earn traffic. You have to earn people's trust and trust is not, you know, it is a scarce commodity. You know what I mean? People do business with those they know, like, and trust. But in order for somebody to trust 
You, you've got to present yourself in a certain manner. But do you know what you need to do in order to be trusted? So I think I was about to uh, quote on Socrates. Socrates says, true wisdom um, comes to each of us when we realize how little we actually understand about life, about ourselves and the world around us. But once you become the master of who you are, the master of the world around you, boy, we will start worshiping you in 2018. All right. So going to the lessons that I was talking about, one of them is in life, things always appear worse than they really are. Right now, yesterday, there was a, there's another girl that we were talking to. I think if you were watching the show yesterday, she was talking about how cash flow is stopping her from getting or being and, and, and doing or having um, a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And um, I'm, I really apologize for this because I lashed out on her and I, I thought she was just making an excuse. But a lot of people find it difficult to go past, um, you know, the first hurdle that comes their way. But let me tell you something. Things always appear worse than they really are in real life. Have you ever seen, um, you know, when you're driving in a car uh, on the rear view, not the rear view mirror, but the side mirrors, they say objects um, in the mirror always a a appear as if they're further than they really are. Just look at what, what what's happening, all right? It depends on what you're looking around yourself. It depends on the goggles that you're using to look at that particular problem. You know, sometimes when we experience things intensely in our mind, we, we think that it's, it's the worst thing that could ever happen to us than it actually is in real life. You know? You know? And, and Mike says, mm, Socrates said wisdom lies in knowing what we don't know. Uh, maybe that's also part of the, the quotation. But what I'm trying to say is, you know, when we experience things around us, they, they, are mag they are magnified by our brain than they actually are in real life. Everything is figure outable. You are always going to figure out anything that's wrong with you. That's why when something is broken, another human being can sort it out or can fix it. All right? You see, the thing is, people assume the worst. You know, when we think about going to an interview or even just doing a Facebook Live like this, you know, or, or, or making a big speech or something like that, or when the bill is overdue, can you imagine all the stories that are happening in your head? Oh my God, they're going to come and kill me. Oh my God, they're going to come and steal my babies. Or they're going to come and take the whole house. Nobody's going to come and move the house from you. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> they're going to have to go through your dead body yet. And you're not dead yet. So that's the reason why I'm saying everything is figure outable. We tend to inflate the severity of every situation subconsciously, and then it numbs us and it stops us from acting. Now you need to figure out when you are overreacting, you need to figure out what part are you actually going overboard, which is true and which is what is being made up in your head. Think about it. How many times have you, you know, ever, you know, turned out, you know, has, has anything ever turned out as bad as you thought it would be? You know, as kids, I used to be afraid to go home thinking my dad was going to murder me if, if I did something wrong at school. But I go home and my dad is just like, don't do it again. And I'm like, oh, snap. I spend the whole day hiding in the toilet where it stinks. And my dad just says he's okay. I mean, sure, there's ex uh, exceptions, you know, not everything will, will, will always turn out right, but they're just exceptions, like I'm saying. <laughs> remember this, I don't want to lie to you guys. Whatever, you know, you see, remember this, it's, it's going to help you manage the challenges that are going to come in your head throughout this whole year, and it will mentally move you forward. All right? Objects in the mirror appear as if they're further than they are. Look at them in reality. Look at them and, and then reverse engineer and see how you cannot figure out it, figure it out. Because like what Steve Jobs said, the things that are around you, the phone that you're using was made up by people that are not smarter than you are. So you're just being lazy if you're inflating all those things in your head and, and, and causing yourself anxiety instead of taking action. All right. So one of the things that I also noticed by growing up is you make money through relationships. All this automation, it's fine, but you can't automate when you only have three customers. 
These customers are coming to buy from you, so you've got to create and relate for them. You know, and you know where that starts off from? It's the people that we have around us. The people in your life are more precious than gold. You know, the single most important thing in anyone's life, because we're societal beings, but we tend to forget that because we think we're connected on our phones. We are the most disconnected, um, you know, uh, you know, members of our species in, 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 in all of history, just because we feel connected by using apps and Facebook and all that stuff. That's not true. Spend time with people that actually are closest to you. You never know where your next business ideas are going to come from. You never know if they're going to tell you if, if your fly is, 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 is down or whatever it is. Because these are also people. They, they constitute part of your market. You know? So you need to figure out. How, the, the, most of the people that, that are closest to us are normally our why. My daughter, my wife, my family, whoever it is, that's the, the reason why I'm doing this is so that my name, my family name is going to transcend what me and my dad have done. So you need to know that these people, you know what I mean? We, we, we all lose sense and meaning or purpose in life if we forget the people we're doing this for. Step back. It's not about your customers. It's about the people that are actually cheering you on when the customers are not there. So don't jump hoops trying to make your customers happy while you're leaving your family to suffer. You know? But I, I, can't, I can't be the person to tell you this. You see, unfortunately, some people don't quite realize this until they've lost somebody near and dear to them. I must say I was really lucky. I, I, I lost my mom at the time I lost her. You know, way before I was quite involved in life because, you know, I don't know. I, I, I now appreciate it a whole lot more because she will be seeing what I'm what I'm working on. So don't take people that you have around you for granted. Take some time to look around your life and ask yourself, am I actually living in a way that prioritizes the people that I'm doing this for? Am I spending enough time with them to be truly present for them? And guess what? From then on, that will give you even the biggest power, the biggest motivation, the biggest why to go and work and, and actually fulfill the needs of your customers. You know why? Because if you don't do that, your kids don't eat. So it's the things that are around you. You're not going to need any shiny object or any course or whatever it is that you think you need in order for your business to be profitable and enjoyable. Have you taken stock of the things that are around you? That's where you get the motivation. I need you to pay attention to those that actually pick up the phone when you call. And those people that you would pick up the phone for when they call. Those are the people that you need to worry about. Everybody else is just smoke and mirrors. And once you, you have figured that part out, you know, you, you, you become present. You stop, you breathe, and then you start to appreciate whatever is happening around you. It calms you. And the calmer you are, the better you are, the more attractive you are into the market. So it's not about a trick or, or a course or whatever it is. It's you. You are crippling yourself from making the money that you really want to make because you're not taking stock of who you are. You know, most of us live a life distracted and we're anxious at every turn, connected to phones, to people that don't even care of our own existence. Rarely ever do we stop to actually smell and appreciate the beauty of maybe a flower or the appreciation of people that are, you know, sending us, you know, making food for us while we, 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 we are busy working. Stop, appreciate and be present. And then in, 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 in silence, that's when you get clarity. Have you ever noticed when you, when you get lost, um, when you're driving to some other place and you get lost, the first thing you reach out for is to lower the volume of the radio. Because you want silence so that you're clear on where you're going. So be truly present. Be truly, um, you know, there for your loved ones. And by doing so, you, you learn to love. And the more love you have to give, you have an overflow of it, which you then extend to your clients that are paying you money in the end. So how, how is you treating your family well going to make you rich? 
by teaching you that you have to love. Love where your money is coming from. Don't just go and try and grab it by what Trump says. You know? The more fully you are living in each moment, you, you, you read yourself of, you know, the persistent stress and anxiety so much that we suffer from. Do you know people can tell that you're stressed when you're talking on the phone? Now, can you imagine if your client calls and you've been stressed all the time? Go in, hug your spouse, hug your housemate, hug your workmate, and then, and then release the endorphins and whatever chemicals that have caused an imbalance. And you go on the phone and you'll be like, hello, guess what? You're paying us today. And the client will be like, yes, I am. That's how you got to do it. And that's how you win. But people think you got to go and sign up to some yaggedy yak group or course or shiny object. Causing more stress or more stress. You're actually paying to be stressed. Because by the time you sign up to that thing, you don't even understand what it's supposed to do for you. And then by the time you're finished with it, you feel like you've been robbed. Great, Anna. How's it going? Hey, and Anna, thank you so much for making my 2017 a really good one by sending me clients. I hope 2018 is also good for both of us. Yeah. All right. So, and talking about sending me clients, me and Anna had a chat the other time and she took action. You know, so this is the next thing that I want you to start doing. Take action. It doesn't necessarily matter, you know, whether that action is going to end into a transaction because even talking to people like this is a transaction. Make sure whatever transaction you're taking on with people, you are taking action, bringing you closer to where your money is at. Take action now. Never procrastinate or never wait until it's perfect. You know? You know, the, the, the routine of daily life, you know, gives us a sense that life is going to go on and continue forever and ever and ever and ever and ever again. And some people are, are sitting there and thinking, you know, their ideas or whatever they think is going to happen is going to continuously looking the same like that. Look at Nokia. Look at Kodak. They sit in a blockbuster. They sit on ideas. They sit on technology. And then some hungry kid came in and took everything. Now they're just sitting there and worried what happened from grand opening to grand closing. So, you know, when you don't take action on whatever ideas that are given to you, when an idea comes, right? Have you ever heard? I, I, don't, I, I can't remember who said this, but you can't stop an idea whose time has come. When an idea comes to you, it's also being transfused to other people. And whoever takes it first will take credit for it. Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg was not the first person to come up with a social media engine, but he was the first person to take tremendous action. And also, guess what? What we're noticing right now, you might have an idea, but if your idea is just features, people can just take that away from you and move on with their lives. Hello, Snapchat. You know what I mean? So, you know, the result that is, 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 is that, you know, we, we, we start making excuses. You know, I'll do this tomorrow, or it should be done today, etc., etc., you know. I know I'm particularly guilty of this, but I'm now in the habit of, no matter how good it looks, ship it. And once you ship it, then people will tell you if it's wrong or it's right. Because the people that are going to be paying money for whatever you're shipping are the only people that have a right to say whether it's good or bad. You just have to create. And I really want you to win. I really want you to win. I, 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 I have no vested interest in what your business is, but I'm, I have, I, I just want that if you're paying attention to what I'm saying in 2018, at least we're going to sit down at the end of the year, high-fiving each other saying, you know what? This was a wealthy year. Stop making excuses because excuses sound best to the person that's saying them. Like I was saying, I was particularly guilty of, oh, I'll do it when the time comes. There's never going to be a right time. You know? And you know what? If you wait until the last minute to do anything, that's all you're ever going to have. The last minute. So make sure you, you take time to actually put stuff out that matters. Do work that matters. And the good news is, once you get past all of these things, 
stuff starts getting relatively easy. When you cooperate with the family around you, guess what? You're happy, you're more energetic, and guess what happens? You relay that to your customers. So in all the things that I talked about right now, is there any marketing trick that I put out? Hundreds. But what did I, how did I put them out? By taking stock of who you are instead of you going to pay somebody money to stress you. All those courses, all those, I don't know, whatever it is that we're doing to, to, in order to get better, learning from other people that have failed in their lives and the only money they're making is, is, is from selling you something. I don't know. Learn from you first. And when you know where you're at, then you know what needs to be added. I really want you to win. Like, <laughs> I really want you to win. It's, it's, I'm probably, I'm probably annoy, annoying a lot of people, really. But I know that when you really want to find meaning, you have to contribute into other people's lives. So that's why I'm, I'm doing these videos right now. A lot of us are out there trying to search for meaning, for purpose. Meaning is found in making difference in somebody else's life. So instead of you trying to make a quick buck, find out. Am I leaving? Am I learning? Am I contributing? And when it comes down to it, you know, what many of us really want is a happier existence. You don't need the Ferraris or the Lamborghinis or whatever it is, you know what I mean? Huh? The way most of us go about it is, is to find ways to please ourselves. I want to ask you a question. Have you ever seen a hearse pulling a, a trailer? Because guess what happens? What we tend to give stays with the world. What we get for ourselves, we take with. All right? We get to keep what we give out. Like right now, I'm giving out 30 minutes of my single day. This video is going to be on um, YouTube. And if you're on YouTube, just um, send, send us a comment and like this video and subscribe to the channel. This video is going to be on the Australian Business Online Directory. It's going to transcend me. My great grandkids are going to be watching this. Hi. I hope you guys are behaving. It's just that. You know? Meaning is found when you actually make a difference to somebody else's life. I have another girl. You can look it up. Um, Michelle. Michelle Hill. Um, Megan. Megan Hill. She wrote a book. And she dedicated it to me. I didn't even do anything. I was just there the whole of last year giving value like this. And she wrote a whole full book and dedicated it to me. I get to keep that. And no one can take that away from me. So a lot of us are going about it wrong by trying to please ourselves. That is so wrong. Sorry, Mike says, this is helpful. Please, please continue. Thank you so much. Robert says, no, you are saying what you need to say. Absolutely. So half the time we're trying to be happy, trying to make bank, trying to make money, you know. And we put a lot of focus on things that are not meant to be. Things that are not supposed to be the ones that, um, you know, give us the, 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 happy, the, the, the happiness. Volunteer your information. Help a friend, help a family member so that they can accomplish their goal and overcome their challenge. You provide inspiration, educate other people. Once you've learned a few things, spread that love. No one is going to come and knock on your house's door and say it's time. So stop procrastinating. And you also have to value the relationships that are around you. Because those are the people that will be there through thick and thin with you. Not the traffic that you're trying to get from Google. They don't know you. They don't care about you. They're just looking at what's in it for them. I really want you to succeed. I really want you to do well in life. I really want that your business is profitable and enjoyable. Shake out the doubt. Find out what is it that you, you're doing to yourself. What is it that you need to learn in order to become the best version of yourself. And once you're the best version of yourself, let me tell you something. We are flawed. Um, what's the quote? Quote. I wrote about it yesterday. So... We, we are intentionally flawed so that we can be different. All right? 
Everybody out there wants the same thing, but packaged differently. Figure out who are you and what are you, what's your position in, in the whole totem pole. And once you know that, and once you know what value you're bringing to the marketplace, it's going to be easy for you to actually be doing and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. It's not about a shiny object. It's not about the next best thing. Networking is good, but it's just a whole exchange of business cards. And then what? Who are you trying to meet? Meet yourself first. I wish this was as, was as incredibly valuable as I think it was. Do you know what I mean? These are just maybe three or four of countless lessons that you can actually start looking at yourself in everyday life and teach yourself what other people cannot teach you because you are the only person that knows yourself better than all the other people there. Leave that way every day by taking stock of who you are and how you present yourself to the rest of the world. And once you know that, you'll be untouchable. And it becomes a lifetime invaluable lesson because they will continuously unfold and you would know how you react and how you talk to people when certain circumstances present themselves to you. No one is going to teach you how to talk to a customer in a way that they believe that you are authentic. I love you. This show was about you. Share this if this touched you in any other way. In the meantime, I just want you to know that I'm by your corner and I want that your business is profitable and enjoyable. And if you're watching this on, um, on YouTube, please subscribe. If you're on Facebook, share this with somebody within the next 60 seconds. That's how things go viral. And if you're watching this uh, in post-production, thank you so much for your valued time. I'll be back again tomorrow at 2 p.m. AEST. In the meantime, go out there and learn you.